high ascendant leader known as the Octopus has begun a systematic attack on industry in an effort to seize control of the commercial arteries of the nation. The Octopus, a genius for organization, is making progress in his cruel and ruthless campaign in spite of the forces of law and order. Not even his own followers know the true identity of the Octopus, but they fear him to a man. Attacking the key industries one by one, the Octopus employs the severest methods of terrorization to gain his ends. In the wake of his criminal activities lies a trail of bloodshed and destruction. In an effort to combat and overcome this growing menace to peace and security, Police Commissioner Kirk enlisted the services of his old friend, Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist. Unknown to all but a few immediate members of his household, Wentworth has created a character called the Spider to aid in the war against crime. A mysterious and masked figure, the Spider has become a symbol of awe and terror to the members of the underworld. Through his activities on the side of justice, this modern Robin Hood has frequently been accused of the very crimes he has attempted to prevent. As a result, a price has been put upon his head by police and criminals alike. While engaged in tracking down the octopus, Richard Wentworth learned that Nita, his fiancée, was being held captive by the forces of the octopus. Disguised as the spider, Wentworth fought his way to the girl and rescued her, only to be trapped by the overwhelming odds. With the stairway blocked by the paid killers of the octopus, the spider escaped with Nita to the window by which he entered the building. As the spider and Nita were lowering themselves on a hoist, guards posted on the ground by the octopus succeeded in releasing their hoist control, causing the two to hurtle to a certain death below. Yes, thanks, boys. Take both cars and go to my house. Aren't you coming with us? There's still too much work to be done, Nita. But, Dick, it's so dangerous. It may be an opportunity for me to find out what's behind all this. Don't worry about me. Go with Ramsey. Finished. Mark and his 
Chicago. Sure glad you've come. He's in a terrible humor. Oh, well, I'll take care of that. <laughs> Nita. What's this I hear about you being in a very bad humor? Oh, not with you, dear. That's the reason. Look at that. Is it the spider's work? <laughs> Anything for a news flash. Terror and chaos in the city. Transportation jeopardized. Lives in danger. Buildings blown up. A master criminal at large to continue his crimes. And all because a few thugs are killed, the cry goes up, get the spider! Every time the spider strikes, all they see is the act, with never a thought for the real reason behind it. I wonder what they'd do if they knew that I, Richard Wentworth, am the spider. That's one thing they must never find out. I've got to find the octopus and destroy him. I had hoped that Adams would give us a lead, but... Do you remember that thug we recognized in the office last night? You mean Frank Martin? Hmm. That's one of his names. He belongs to the underworld. I've got to contact him and gain his confidence. Oh, so Blinky McWade comes to life again. Hmm. Oh, Dick. Major. Pardon me, Dick. What is it? I thought so. Now I'm sure of it. Sure of what? A couple of Kirk's men are watching the house. <laughs> He's right. Men to watch me. Well, that makes it nice. What are you going to do now? Darling, you need some flowers. I need some flowers? Jenkins! Well, Jenkins, phone Roy and tell him to send over my special flowers. Yes, sir. Well, darling, Blanky McQuaid and the spider walk tonight. In spite of those fellows. Hello, Roy. Send over Mr. Wentworth's special flowers in a hurry. You're going to throw a party. Need me again, boss? I certainly do. Nita, help yourself. This is all I need. Oh, they're beautiful. Glorious. <laughs> this is a useless job. He's not coming out of there. Coating truck. See, he's got the old hack ready. Thanks. Martin here. Yeah. Who? Martin. Frank Martin. No, he ain't here now. But I can get way to him. Never mind. I'll come back later. The spider must be removed from our path, no matter what the cost. Our next move toward power will be carefully planned and executed. But our main objective is the destruction of the spider. Hi, Martin. Hello, Blinky. I come by earlier. So I heard. What do you want? I need dough, Martin. For me? Well, not exactly. I thought maybe you could let me in on something. You're making the safe too strong for you now? Say, I could still open them like cracker boxes if my eyes wasn't slipping. Can't you eat me in on something? Hmm. Blinky, you've always been a guy that could keep his mouth shut. Tell you what. I got a job on for tonight, one of my own. You can drive the car. Swell. It's down at Carson's warehouse, down by the river. Stick around, because we start early. Okay. It's a big job for the boss later. Maybe I can get you in on that. Thanks, Martin. I'll be right on tap, whatever you want me.
stuff. We'll use one of their own trucks. Get a move. Must be inside. Careful, men. Come on. Drugstore near here. Down at the corner. Is the guy all right? He's okay. Make it snappy. I gotta get lined up on the big job. Oh, yeah? You ain't gonna forget to ease me in on it, are you? No. All right, sir. I'll be right back in a flash. Hello. Hello. Jackson? I've got some work for you. Yes? Yes, sir. All right, I'll be there. How about a little drink while we're waiting? Yeah. Who is it? Oh, no, it's the boy. Scram, scram. I'll take care of myself. Oh, no, 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 no. Go on, I'll stall him for your getaway. Where's your partner? What partner? Quit stalling. You ain't got nothing on me. Only the warehouse job. I got an alibi. You better have. Come on. Come on, come on. Nice work, Jackson. What's it all about, Major? Well, I learned things. I had to ditch the gang. The only way that I could shake Martin. Drop me near the West End powerhouse and then call the police. The spider strikes again? Right. ordered this job done so there wouldn't be a light left on in the city. That's the way you'll get it. We'll have it all washed up before an alarm can be raised. Are we all set? Yeah. All right. We're moving through here.
in the next episode, you will see Richard Wentworth in his fight against the octopus is attacked by the paid killers of the arch criminal. The octopus daring and cruel destroys property and innocent people in his desire for power. Nita Van Sloan, Jackson and Ram Singh, friends of Richard Wentworth, trapped in a room rapidly filling with rushing water and doomed to death. Will they escape? Uh -huh.